Congratulations on your decision to purchase an ATP monitor from Kyvac. This handheld measurement tool is designed to rapidly measure the amount of biopollutants on virtually any surface, including floors, sink handles, toilets, dispensers, desktops, and so on. Specifically, it detects and quantifies the level of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, the universal energy molecule found in all animal, plant, bacteria, yeast, and mold cells. These innovative instruments are commonly used in a number of other industries, including healthcare and food processing, to ensure health through proper sanitation. With ATP monitoring, it's now possible to establish a quantifiable standard of hygiene that defines when a surface is really clean for different areas throughout your building. This video is designed to demonstrate the process of using the ATP monitor to measure cleaning effectiveness. While this device is very easy to use, it is a scientific instrument that requires special attention. It is important, therefore, that you understand and follow these instructions carefully to attain quality results. To ensure a shelf life of up to one year, UltraSnap swabs should be refrigerated at 35 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Swabs will tolerate room temperature, 65 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, for four weeks, but should be refrigerated when not in use to ensure longevity. You should always avoid leaving the testing device and swabs in temperatures above 77 degrees Fahrenheit for more than 20 minutes. The cooler included with your ATP kit helps to ensure your UltraSnap swabs will remain effective and provide reliable measurements. To transport your meter and swabs, place the ice pack that came with your kit and the UltraSnap swabs in one compartment of the cooler. The ATP meter can be placed in the smaller compartment for transportation. The clipboard and report form fit in the outside pocket, keeping everything together in a convenient package. To begin testing, remove swabs from cooler and allow 10 minutes at room temperature before using. Turn on your ATP meter by pressing the red power button. When the unit powers up, it will perform a self-test and calibration process which takes 60 seconds. After the unit calibrates, remove a fresh UltraSnap swab from its swab tube and swab the surface. For flat surfaces, swab a 4 inch by 4 inch area by rubbing the swabbing tip back and forth across the surface and again in the perpendicular direction. For irregular surfaces, such as fixture handles and doorknobs, swab enough of an area to collect a good sample. For best results, rotate the swab between your fingers while swabbing the surface. Immediately after swabbing the surface, return the swab to its tube. Snap the end with fluid by bending the bulb in both directions and squeeze until all liquid has been released to the bottom of the swab tube. Holding the tube vertically, shake the swab back and forth for 5 seconds. It is important to keep the swab tube upright to ensure that the liquid reagent comes into contact with the swab tip. Your swab is now ready to be tested. Within 60 seconds of activating the swab, open the top of the meter, insert swab tube swab side down, and close the lid. Next, hold the ATP meter in an upright position and immediately press the OK button. The meter's LCD screen will count down from 15 seconds and will then display the ATP reading. When taking a reading, it is important to keep the meter in a vertical position to ensure the liquid reagent is at the bottom of the swab tube. Once the ATP reading has been displayed, record the location, date, reading, and your initials on the included form to begin tracking cleaning effectiveness. Following these simple directions will ensure you are retrieving accurate results in the areas you are testing and will help you determine the effectiveness of your cleaning program.